Greetings, greetings to my fellow Barbadians, both old and young, middle-aged and elderly. I come to you this morning just to remind each and every one of us of the dangers of the cybercrime bill that has been posed still in, still hanging out over our heads, which this administration is still planning on carrying out, implementing, and silencing each and every one of us. And don't fool yourself, young people. The cybercrime bill will definitely affect you because 95% of the people that use cell phones, use their cell phones, are young people. You gotta ask yourself, do I want this, that if I call my next door neighbor, if I, in the heat of an argument, and I say to you, I don't like you anymore. You have the right to take me to court so I can pay a fine of $100,000 or 10 years in prison. When in truth and in fact, you didn't really mean it, then to find out, oh, I took my friend to court and now he is paying the penalty for spending 10 years in prison because he or she doesn't have $100,000 to pay. You see, people, young people, the ball is in your court to turn Barbados around. It's going down the wrong road. It is causing the people to think that this, this administration, rather, is causing the people to be afraid of them by implementing such harsh penalties. But really and truly, young people, these harsh penalties are serving two purposes. One, to silence you. Two, to keep this administration in power for life. Take some time out. Listen to me. Take some time out. Analyze what this cyber crime bill is mainly all about. Okay? So I ask you, I regard you this morning, keep thinking positive, open your brain, and don't be fooled by pretty words coming from this Prime Minister. She does not care anything about you and I. It's about her and her administration. So on that note, that small little note I just mentioned because it was something that was on my mind this morning. I just have to come back and let you know. The cyber crime bill is very real, but this administration is planning very hard to put in place. It will silence you young people. It will prohibit you from using your cell phones as you would like. It's going to dictate your life, what you do, how you do it, where you go and when you go. So, take the time out. Pay attention. Ask questions if you have to. I am here. Make contact with me. I answer your questions. Protect.